Good morning, folks. Starting with a look in on those plasma filaments on the north coming in behind a coronal hole. We've got top-level news and hopefully a special video coming out for you tonight, but we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet. Active regions lack sunspots, so the focus is indeed on the filaments and the coronal hole today. The solar wind is calming back, high variability to the stream but with a trend towards lower geomagnetic unrest. We took another 7-pointer this morning in Vanuatu. It was downgraded quickly to 6.8. The uptick in larger quakes continues with all three of these, the big one in both preceding rumbles, being blot echoes. Coming back to the sun very quickly, a nod at the odd even cycles of the sun where it somehow knows over vast amounts of time which cycles should be longer and which should be shorter, ping-ponging back and forth, cycle to cycle. Up next, we've got a cool animation showing how material feeds an active galactic nucleus. Not surprising for plasma and electric cosmology fans, the cosmic web filaments are in fact currents of material. Nice scaling from macro down to the galaxy and back out, and reminding us that there are no islands in space. We just don't see plasma and dust in space as well as we'd need to. Up next, a note on not only the solar forcing and modulation of proton bombardment to the South Atlantic anomaly, the weakest part of Earth's overall weakening field, but also the fact that the ongoing geomagnetic excursion cannot be left out of the discussion when describing the recent trends in the data. It's now more than the 11-year solar cycle modulation. And the last article on the front today, another one looking at the smaller scale structure of galaxies. Folks, We've been describing how they can't seem to figure out if those are galactic spiral shocks, the galactic current sheet waves, or spiral arm feathers. Here, they believe they've identified one of the substructures, they go with the feather idea, and what's weirdest of all is that no matter which of the three you pick, it winds up with the same electromagnetic insult to the stars that encounter them. Nice galactic scale Easter egg there for veteran observers, and speaking of which, Folks, it was about a week ago that we raised NASA's Trash Climate and Geomagnetism article to the ground. Guess what? NASA has responded. And it wasn't a science journalist or one professor or one researcher, but the response was signed by the entire NASA Climate Science website team. I'll be trying to get the second response video back out to you tonight. Worst case, it's tomorrow night, but either way, NASA, you should have stayed in your seat. I'm coming. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.